We are here, we are here, we are here. On this amazing day. Okay, everyone, this is Cam Jones, FX Daily Analysis, and we are marking up DGX stock. We are on the monthly time frame. Price action, last candle to the right hand side is a bullish green candle. We do have price action overall, higher highs. Price action overall, lower lows. We also have that midpoint. And now we're also adding second level highs. And we're also going to add third level highs. So let's zoom in the price and see what's going on. So we do know price action, the bullish green candle is engulfing the second last candle. So that market could be pushing up. Price action body is above the previous body. Price action wick is above the previous uh, candle wick. So price is currently sitting at 136.53 is at a midpoint between those SR lines. So if price work is way up, it can head tag up to that second level highs of that area, which would be at 141.53. And if price work is way down, it can add tag that second level lows of that area of 131.23. And we can see price action hanging out in that midpoint. So let's say if price work is way down up, we can see that that market can identify a pattern. There's a lot of patterns in here. So we're going to break down pattern after pattern. So if that market does is respected for that up, we can see first off, we can see that um, we'll put that later on, but we can see that that market is coming from multiple pushes to that bottom for that first, second, third, fourth. So we have a double bottom. The market broke that second level highs, came back for a full retest. Now we're looking for a pattern to identify itself to see if it can push up in that double bottom and a retest. Now, if not, market run into a rejection uh, from the top and it can push that market down as we be looking for that first, second, third, fourth incline M pattern multiple retests and then we look for that market to push down so it's more one two three four and overall retests and we're going to see if that market push if we receive that engulfment to the downside of the last few candles or that market can work its way sideways walking down to the weekly time frame so I'll put this here. I was going to do it on an earlier time frame. We'll do it here. What I was going to do was show you guys there's a pattern inside a pattern. The market is trying to form. Uh, let's see what pattern we'll see. So if you connect the supports on the way up, we can see we are we do have that uptrend. But then at the same time, if you connect in that resistance to that opposite side of that support, we can see that market is in some type of pattern of a wedge. So we're gonna see how far this market breaks up. So if it breaks up and break out this midpoint area, the next level, then we're gonna see if it's gonna come back down to that area and still bounce. But it looked like it's a inside of a wedge pattern horizontal. Working our way to the weekly time frame. Price action on a weekly time frame identifies a bullish green candle. It made up is we do know it's at the midpoint. Price action did engulf the previous candles to towards the bottom, so also created a pattern down there. So we do have that coming down in red first, second, third, fourth. So we have a double bottom that broke that SR line. Market made it to the midpoint. So we also going to add a, uh, a midpoint near price. So we're going to see what's happening. Is it breaking and retesting? Is it gonna reject and work its way down? And if that market work its way up from that double bottom it's coming from, it, it's if it works way down from that double bottom it's coming from, it's coming from multiple pushes to that top, first, second, third, fourth, and retest, market push down, retest that midpoint. And if we don't get that market to push uh, from that midpoint for the break and retest, market's coming down from an overall triple top and a retest. working our way to the daily time frame so price action on the daily time frame is re reading as a bullish green candle long wick down to the bottom so this market could still have enough momentum to push up a little bit of wicket to the top so it lost a lot of momentum towards the bottom for that reversal 
and it can still push up but you got to remember there's a 50 50 chance why because we do have price action body above the previous body price action wick is above the previous week that's showing that that market could push up for sure but that price action is still sitting as a doji so it's indecisive because we have to see have to see as we walk down the time frame is it breaking and retesting is it consolidating sideways or is it identifying another doji to reverse that market four hour time frame price action on a four hour time frame is a bullish screen candle long wick down to the bottom the second candle is a retest the third candle is a push so it looks something like this market pushed up second last candle retest price is trying to push and break out of that midpoint area also price is trying to break the previous side if you look all the way to the left we have a lot of uh wicks and dojis the opposite side so the market's trying to break that opposite side so we're going to put that whole area into a zone up to this the lower body of the second and third to last candle wicks so now we get to see what's really going on so we know anything that happens in here is that consolidation until that patterns form or for that breakout and that's why we see price sitting in that midpoint of that sr line of the zone on the three hour time frame price action identifying that the fourth to last candle push up third to last candle spike down price action push to that uh resistance line two hour time frame still identifying same thing now we see a much clearer break retest got the push one hour time frame still reading the same thing break retest receive the push four hour time 45 minute time frame okay now price action on the 45 minute time frame is reading as a bearish red doji so that market can create that uh side by side structure for that consolidation so let's read it so we have the break the retest the market push retest if we receive a bullish green candle we see that market coming up and we'll see that overall first second third fourth it'll be an incline w if not we're looking for that market to come down back for another retest because it can still retest the bottom of that zone because that will be the break of that zone retest that uh, support and then push back up so it has up to it can retest that midpoint we'll talk about another 30 we can it can retest that midpoint as it currently at and push up or it could come and retest still re has enough momentum to retest the bottom of that zone is still push up for momentum from the opposite side and now we can see that w formation in here first second third fourth okay retest with the price action candle being a doji 15 minute time frame got a double retest so a double double retest double doji side by side markets consolidating sideways still waiting for the engulfment to the top side to the top side of the um dojis or to the bottom side to push that market up market did identify a triple bottom first second third fourth retest receive the push five minute time frame same thing so we're looking for the engulfment to the price action towards the second last candle market just pushed we just seen so we do have that break retest if it engulfs and close out that market can push up now you want to see price action go off that full second last candle body and wick if it just close if it just close against that price second last candle body it may not be enough momentum to push that candle up you want to see it clear that wick Three minute time frame price action just cleared the opposite side but that's why this market market has to do a little more because price action is at the midpoint so we have price action high price action low you have the midpoint right here so you want to see price action on the three minute time frame close above the second last candle and third last candle so it's sitting at that midpoint once it start breaking we can see that market's going to reach up to the next level of 136.90 and it can follow up uh with more pushes one minute time frame still reading the same thing sitting on that midpoint line and we can see that pattern that's trying to form for that first overall second third fourth okay see our market's coming down came back to retest that second level lows and now if it's respected the market will come back up if not we'll see that engulfment to the price action with push price back down to that sr line the price of 136.20 okay guys this is cam jones fx DGX stock.